What is going on, guys? This is your main man, Ben, here, and we are Talk Active, practicing wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. Happy Friday, guys. This is your main boy. Again, it is a wonderful, wonderful Friday. I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And also, it's am amazing because it's Friday. I mean, everybody loves Friday. I don't know about you, but I love Friday. Yes, yes. And today, guys, it's amazing. We're moving on to our series. It's episode 85 and we are the month of july so last month was problem solving that was the theme hopefully we have picked up some gems in that month and it was productive amazing we have launched our website and our a lot of new things happening for the better um, to deliver high quality stuff podcasting audio and video files it's in the link. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys for dropping by. And today we are going to be moving on to July. And the theme of the month of July is duty. Um, that would be the theme duty. And first and foremost, since it is Friday and you survive for the week, let's drop some... Clap here, back there. Clap here and back there. Yes, sir and ma'am, you have survived. And today is going to be amazing because tomorrow is Friday. And along with that, we have recovered on our leg. For the past three weeks, we haven't been riding our cycling bicycle. So no trail since Father's Day weekend. But today, this week, we have clocked in 13 miles on two different days. So um, I think we have recovered and we're going to be riding tomorrow. Amazing, amazing. But today, guys, it's going to be episode 85. And before we proceed, um, I'm seeing a lot of buzz in here, man. And before that, though, happy 4th of July. Uh, freedom that was given to us, especially here in America. I'm directing this to the American people that ultimately sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice. And we salute um, the heroes in America. Amazing. But today, guys, I just want to point out one issue, man. One issue with a specific, uh, it, it's been in my feed. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, douse fuel to the fire. But, um... Basketball star, um, U.S. basketball star Griner, um, yeah, the WNBA that got caught in Russia. Um, eventually, she really did admit that the drugs was an advertently, you know, accident. It was not an intent. So she pleads guilty in the Russian court. But then again. Once again, um, you are not in America, so you are going to abide in the local law where you're in. Um, same goes for everybody. Um, it doesn't matter if you are a Navy, a pilot, um, flight attendant. If you're going outside the country, guys, check the local law because you are not going to be abiding a law in America. So there are different types of law around the world just so you know i think it's that should be standard right mind-blowing but yeah, it should be standard and um yes it it got stuck in my head because griner was aside from this uh, attention that she has brought because uh um, you know she got i think admitted or incarcerated there for since uh, february of this year but she was famous on kneeling while the national anthem is playing or sitting down so um, she has some remarks that 
national anthem shouldn't be playing while before the game starts. That's why a lot of people are showing a lot of not a lot of love to her. Um, but then again, guys, this is the thing with with people. Okay, it's just an advice and what we have trying to preach here to reach out for, you know, justice and moderation. Of course, courage to her. Um, we all have some some bad scenarios in our lives that we are judged by a lot of people during the worst mistakes that we have made. But that does not define us. That does not define us. We are not condoning anybody's bad behavior. But also, there, there are things in life that we deserve a second chance. At this point, though, we, we don't have to look back on what Miss Griner did on the past for not kneeling down or so. Um, definitely, it's an you know, um, uncharacteristics for people like her, a public figure that does that. Colin Kaepernick, um, other NFL players did it uh, for publicity. And a lot of people are, are getting attention because it, it's not just about individual feelings, but it's about the national feeling. So it's a tacky situation. Um, but then again, it's your right to do that, first and foremost. But then again, um, you do not blame the people for not supporting you because they got different feelings towards that. And it's not just, you know, the, uh, the kneeling down. It's about the flag, the freedom of people that sacrificed in uh, July 4th, you know, and, and, and all that stuff that goes around in history, it affects it. So people remembers that. But then again, we all deserve second chance. But that put aside all that stuff. Um, once again, though, by the end of the day, she broke a law in Russia and potentially facing 20 years in prison on a Russian prison. And I cannot imagine. And I hope, man, that courage that you're going to give to her, like, you know, you don't want to stand up in American anthem when you play basketball, but you're going to be hearing every single morning, I don't know, at night, a Russian national anthem in the penitentiary every single day since she was incarcerated, I think February of this year. And uh, which one is tougher? But then again, uh, yeah, this is the thing. Um, we, we don't need to say, once again, man, if you have nothing good to say, just don't say anything. <laughs> yes, but moving on, though, guys, it's it's Friday, and it's amazing because we are celebrating um, good health, and we are going to tackle duty. And duty is what we are going to talk about. All right, moving on. Oh, man, I got my coffee. I hope you guys have your coffee. By the way, black coffee, no sugar, just maybe a teaspoon of milk. That will do the trick. And, mm, oh, blood sugar, LP, that would go away, guys. You know, that's just a hint of, you know, good health, good health. But today, guys, we're going to talk about du duty, episode 85. What is duty? Okay, what is duty? By definition, duty means a moral or legal obligation, a responsibility, a task or function that someone is required to perform. That is duty. We are defining duty, guys. That would be the theme of July, okay? In our episode 85, it is entitled Rice and Shine. Rice and Shine. Me and my wife, we always say to our kids, maybe not always, but this is a very, very uh, familiar words for parents, especially early in the morning. 
um, we tell our son and our daughter in the morning, rise and shine. Rise and shine, guys. Rise and shine. What comes to our mind when we say rise and shine? Get up. Move. Move. We, we basically, when we were younger, you know, we hate this. We hate moving up, you know. It's kind of cold in the morning. I don't want to get up. Who wants to get up? You know, I, I, I don't want to be under the radar. But instinct for us as young guys, way back in the days, now to my son and my daughter, um, instinctively, they hide under the sheets. <laughs> Wow, they hide under the sheets. They don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything about that rice and shine. But this is what kids does. You know, this is the natural reaction for kids when when they hear hear that alarm clock coming up. When when they hear that uh, uh, rice and shine, you know, you want to hit that one, and you wanna you want to just step back. And you don't want to hear that. Who wants to hear? In podcasts, I don't want to hear that too. I mean, this podcast is more on on uh, audio. This is what we have right now. But on, in our show, we put it in YouTube since we have a YouTube channel. It's a bonus. But yeah, definitely it's for audio. But nobody wants to hear an alarm clock going off. I'm not going to play that that sound bank anymore because it's getting irritating i'm getting irritated just i'm not even waking i got my black coffee in here two teaspoon already man but by the end of the day not the end of the day by the start of the day why am i ending the day already there is a duty for everyone every single one has duty to perform for the kids they would need to get up fix the bed put on uniforms if you are in the philippines they don't have like casual you know anything you put it in you have to put uniform you eat your breakfast and prepare to go to school you know there are struggles between those segments but yet kids duty has to be fulfilled it has to be done. It, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter how you feel cuddling underneath the bed or the bed sheet or the blanket. But this is your duty and it has to be fulfilled. It's nicer to be cuddling in, you know, the pillows early morning. You know, it's kind of cold. It's nice to hide underneath that blanket. But we are not made to do comfortable things in life once again we are not made to do comfortable things in life that is a fact um same as for adults same as for adults um what happens to us if we always do comfortable things in life vacation every day 365 days a week I mean, a, a year, not a week. But yeah, you get the point. It doesn't work out like that. For the adults, it's nice to hit that, you know, I'm going to play it one more time. <laughs> snooze button, that alarm clock in your phone. But you can only press that snooze button for so much. You know, you know the consequences. You know it well, the consequences. After that third or fourth snooze, um, it's not going to be very encouraging morning for you let's put it that way in a nice way you know if you work lucky for you if you don't but for some you got business to run you got people to take care of but by the end of the day you have duty to be fulfilled so if you do not move it's not going to be a good morning for you so for the young professionals for the young pros um mm, especially the younger they are, the bolder and much harder it is for them. It's uh, <laughs> it's probably best to leave that topic there, you know. 
for young people, for the young pros, they have their own, you know, uh, um, experiences and they have their own excuses, especially, you know, when we talk about Generation X, uh, Generation blah, 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 uh, Millennials, blah, blah, blah. There's there's a bunch of stuff in there, you know, way back in the day, we don't have to do that. You know, we go there and we hustle. We we do the work. We don't go to social media today and we just say anything what we want and we sound so smart, but we cannot perform physically. Yeah, that's 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 how it feels. We're not going to tackle that, but let us go and reinforce this, guys. Rise and shine. Rice and shine, according to the idiom free dictionary, rice and shine means an expression used when walking. My bad. (laughs) Maybe. Rice and shine means an expression used when waking someone up. As in its past seven, children, rice and shine, originating as a military order in the late 1800s order. In the late 1800s, shine here means act lively, do well. Like what we said in Proverbs, practical, live well. Rise and shine means act lively and do well. Here we go. We're going to dissect this, okay? Um, Sure, sure. Okay. Sometimes... Before the work week, especially the weekend holidays, like what we experience, the 4th of July, it's a big holiday in America, can be very challenging, especially that was Monday and you got work the following day, Tuesday. Um, We can cut a slack in there, you know, we don't have to be military, We, we can cut a slack in there, but best believe we know that we have a duty to perform, an obligation indeed that needs to be fulfilled. Regardless of how we feel, you probably have a hangover, upset tummy, whatever you feel, we have still an obligation to fulfill. The willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life is the source from which self-respect springs. That was told by Joan Didion. That is a very powerful a statement. I'm going to share a um, little bit here, guys. Uh, yeah, when we talk about duty and responsibility, I always have pride for single parents, especially for women. And I always say this and I will always preach this and I will never stop saying it in this universe, especially in this world. The strongest being are women. I'm not being, you know, gender specific, but I'm a man. But I'm saying this as a man. Strongest being in this universe are women. My mother raised four boys, of course, with the help of my legendary grandmother and aunts. Her duty is to provide to her children as a single parent as a single mother living in the Philippines it is especially very hard on a third world country like that you can't imagine there are no support system legal system for paying a monthly child support thing it doesn't work out like that in in third world country like that Um, or else you're gonna get incarcerated nope it doesn't work out like that in there I don't know about the law now and how has it been if there is one how has it been you know provision or followed but she knows her duty and she took responsibility by the end of the day by the end of the day and that's why i always say that women are especially the most the most strongest being just about that ah you gotta speak up yes i do i do remember the daily resolution that we speak of on our previous episode 24 hours new goals this is why we need to fulfill our duty that could be you know to our family 
to do to our community, to our spouse, there are work that needs to be completed and it needs to be done. This is why we are made of, to be service of others. Like it or not, you work in a hospital, you work in Google. By the end of the day, you are serving people, okay? That would be the meat for today, guys. And we are going to proceed to our end segment. If doing good was easy, everyone would do it. Same as the latter, if doing bad was tempting or attractive, nobody would do it. And if anyone could do it, it would have been assigned to someone else. But instead, it was assigned to you. Make your own plan or you will be part of someone else's plan. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But Proverbs 19.21 stated, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it Lord's purpose that prevails. Let us fulfill our duty. The earlier, the better. Rise and shine. Thank you for listening, guys. <laughs>